Welcome to today's video, guys. So that's your name. Konnichiwa, mina san. Same to no YouTube channel. Yokuzo, it's mono. Toroku shite. Arigato gozaimas. So, today we're going to Hakone. It's going to be great. Hi. Welcome to today's vlog for all of you uh, peasants that don't speak Japanese. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We're going on a little bit of a vacation and a holiday to Hakone. Last time we were there and filming uh, was probably like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. I think it's three. Really that long? Yeah. Alright, well anyways, you guys loved it last time. There's a whole bunch more subscribers than last time, so why not? And yeah. seriously, it's, it's awesome. You guys are going to love it. It's like old traditional Japanese culture, like the buildings and architecture and all that stuff. It just looks like something out of a Studio Ghibli film from like Spirited Away. We're going to this amazing onsen. You're going to love it. New hotel. Yeah, it's going to be sick. So yeah, next stop is some PA on the side of the highway heading down south. Subscribe. So we just arrived to our hotel room and uh, this is a brand new hotel so things are pretty modern. We've got, they somehow gave us two single beds which kind of sucks. I think that's all they had right in the short time frame that we booked. But the best thing about this is this is like the shower and then this is like the onsen, the outside onsen thing which is backed onto a nice beautiful river. It's kind of nice. You can literally hear it inside the hotel. So last time we were staying here, I think we were further up the river. We'll go for a walk later tonight, but up the top there is like crazy, um, really beautiful, um, what are they called? Like temples and things like that. And a whole bunch of like traditional Japanese buildings and whatnot, which we'll probably go check out later tonight. But all of this water comes down from the top of the mountain, Mount Hakone. Um, and as you, as you guys I'm sure you know that Japan is a very volcanic um, country so there's a lot of volcanic activity here and the water that comes into this bath is straight from the hot springs and stuff like that like it gets pumped here and whatnot from to all the different venues and onsens around here too that's so all pretty cool there's lots of benefits and stuff like that for certain onsens and minerals and things so there's also that to take into account but how beautiful is this so cool so we're just out going for a walk and here's that river we looked at from the hotel room. It's so beautiful. And over here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but see the steam coming out? Because of the onsens and stuff up here, they're pumping like the hot water out into the river there. So all the steam just rises and comes out. And that's all throughout like the full length of the river, you'll see that. Really cool. I don't know, simple things like that I just think are sick. Also, it's freezing. It's like 16 degrees Celsius here right now. I just found this on the side of the road. This is a lucky drawer vending machine. So you put 10 bucks in and you pick a random button and you will get hopefully one of these cool things or one of these lame things on here. So we're gonna do this, May. Please hold the camera. Let's see what we get. I can't believe you're really doing this. Probably gonna be a big waste of money, but. I'm scared. What if like something really sus comes out? Oh no! It looks like a small box. It feels really light too. It says F1. What did we get? <laughs> it's so small. What is it? It's a watch. That's actually that's actually not too bad. It says, there's a price tag on it, 2,500 yen. Okay. So this is like a $25 watch. And that's something you'd wear, right? Yeah, I actually wear that. You're right? Yeah. How happy are you right now? <laughs> Should we do it one more time? No. Just for the meme? No. Are you sure? I kind of want to. Well, you got you? something. Why can't I get something? Okay, I'll do it for you then. This will All be right. your happy anniversary. Oh, my anniversary gift? Okay. 
<laughs> what are you gonna get? I'm gonna laugh if are like. Are really wasting two thousand yen? Yeah, sure. Why not? We might get something else like decent. Just pick a different button, not mine. I hope nothing weird comes out. Imagine winning like a PlayStation. Oh, that sounded heavy. What did you just win? Is it big or small? Oh, it's bigger than my box. Does it feel heavy? It's Can I feel red. the weight? Feel the weight? Oh, it's really light. Oh no. What is it? <laughs> this is the biggest waste of my. Oh wait, hold on. There's two. Wait, there's two prizes? Yeah. Oh cool, we got two little kids toys. I'll give these to Rin Chan. She'll love these. Oh wait, this is like wait, what is this? I have no idea. I guess this thing makes some kind of noise. These are kids' toys. Well, we got some cool stuff. I'll give this to Okachan's daughter. She'll like the kids stuff and you get the watch. 20 bucks well spent? Well the watch was $25, so. <laughs> I guess we're still in the green, right? Yeah. So true story. This is our hotel and we literally walked. Wait, should I be filming this? What if there's someone actually like in their onsen bath on the veranda right now? Hopefully, I don't think there is, but hopefully uh, nothing weird. Um, but that's our hotel. And we walked all the way down there across that bridge there and all the way back up to a convenience store there because we didn't know this bridge here existed. So <laughs> much less of a walk back now. So this river literally goes all the way through the mountain range. Do you think last time when we stayed here we were further up the river, river or further down? Down. Down, right? So nice. Look how blue it is there. And that's like all the... Do you think it's blue because of all the minerals and stuff in there? Maybe. Or do you think it's some kind of chemical that they're dumping in from all the onsens? Kawaii, the show. You should just keep that to yourself. I'm just... Thinking out loud. <laughs> okay, guys, so May said I have to be quiet because we're in this bitch posh restaurant hotel thing. Anyways, ah. Kanbai, Oscar, Sama. Happy 250k. 250k and happy wedding anniversary. Five years strong. Also, we, we hit 250k subs, boys. That's more important. Oh, that's fruity. Also, we may or may not have ordered like a $300 meat plate. <laughs> so our $300 meat plate has just arrived. I think by judging from how it smells, this is probably going to be an amazing experience. I'm just excited because $200 of this entire meal is paid for by the government. Because here in Japan right now, they're doing a go-to campaign. Um, where the government kind of compensates your trips to travel around Japan, which is just trying to help, like, I guess the tourism within Japan to help the economy and stuff like that due to COVID and the pandemic. But I'm pretty excited about this mushroom. Or is that eggplant? I think that's eggplant. It's also a weird shape. But yeah, anyways. Well, lads, we are back at the hotel now and uh, filling up our private little hot spring. How cool is this? The tap is a wooden tap. Like uh, that old, old wooden ship diversity, I think it was called, right? Just say yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you turn on the taps and then water comes out. It's cool, right? Um, I'm not going to show you any more uh, scenes from here because, uh, yeah. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day and we are currently in line to get to the top car park because that is, my friend, the side of pretty much a volcano. This is all volcanic activity, all these gases and stuff coming out. Um, this place is called what? Ano, Okudani? Owakudani. 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 Owaku means like spring, hot spring, Big volcanic spring. activity, valley thing. Yes. And Tani means... Valley. Valley. Okay, cool. That's, that's what that means, guys. And as you can see, all the smoke kind of coming out of the side of the mountain. Damn, look at that. That looks so cool. 
For an Australian guy, we do not see this ever in Australia. Even though there's a place called um, uh, Toowoomba, which is literally a full <laughs> city and town built in the crater of an extinct volcano, it's literally a hole. Like it's it, the whole place is a hole. But <laughs> anyways, sorry Ted, my brother lives there. <laughs> um, we are lining up to park. We're gonna go check out some volcanic activity, hot spring stuff on the side of this volcano. It's gonna be cool. Hopefully we don't die. Wasn't the, wasn't the warning level like medium, could erupt, could could be yeah, safe, they don't the, know? The, it said on the entrance that if you do have respiratory problems, you're not, you're not allowed to. Yeah, because like sulfur for certain people with asthmatic issues and stuff, it, it literally will shut down their respiratory system, right? I don't know, something like that. Anyways, um, I'm pretty excited. I hope I get to see some lava, although I don't think we're going to see lava here. We can we can play the, the floor as lava. We could play the floor as lava, that's a great idea. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying this vlog, let's get to it. So we finally got into parking. This is kind of insane, but these are like literally, like sulfur is just spewing out of the side of the mountain. See all the yellow stuff there? It is just spewing out. It's actually like really strong. And it's like, I don't know how to explain. Like obviously it smells like rotten eggs, um, but it's not only that, but like it, it actually does, like it's hard to breathe out here because it's so strong, right? Are you feeling like it's kind of a little bit hard to breathe because it's like stinging and stuff on the nostrils? Yeah, if you know um, Monterey in California, this is literally what it smells like. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. This is kind of what uh, Florida water smells like coming out of your tap. No, literally, because it all comes out of the ground. Kind of has like the smell like this. Oh, and then you need the filter thingies. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. So here's another angle, and you can really see all the sulfur spewing out of that hole there. Pretty cool. So guys, if the volcano erupts, run into building. <laughs> that was my content. Damn it, you... <laughs> if the volcano erupts, I think we're in more trouble than just running into yeah, a building. I, I jump in my car and drift down the mountain. Yeah, How cool would that be? Drifting away from lava. I could actually use that in my title. Clickbait people. It wouldn't be clickbait, it'd be real. That'd be cool. So believe it or not, this place is not really all that famous for all of this volcanic activity. It's more so famous for its black eggs. There are literally statues and things everywhere of black eggs. Please, mate, uh, did you hear the speaker like announcement before? And they had an English version and said that it is rumored that if you eat an egg that was boiled in the in the hot spring of, what's this name, place's name again? Awakudani. That it adds another seven years to your life. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, cool. So we're going to eat a black egg. I'm probably going to die and throw up, but let's do it. I've never eaten a black egg before. So we are currently in line to get our bag of black eggs. We get five black eggs. Um, it's, look at this, even, even Hello Kitty's amongst it and she's inside a black egg. <laughs> All the seats are eggs. Oh look, maybe the eggs are white on the inside. Interesting. Now I'm not as scared. I thought they were like those really weird gross inside black eggs too. I'm excited now. Yo, are you excited? You got a bag of black eggs. Five and then seven years for each. So it's 35. So we should probably give all of these to Okachan. So he can last as long as he can. Oh no. <laughs> so with this beautiful scenery, we're going to enjoy some black eggs. It's so cold. It's like 16 degrees. No, it's way colder than that. Really? So this is what they look like. We haven't even shown them yet, babe. Oh, sorry. Isn't that crazy? Oh, oh, look, look, look. Oh, they gave us salt? Yes. Yes. Did that come from the hot spring too? 
This is literally what they look like. I guess they kind of get this color from like whatever's in the water and stuff. And it would be definitely some kind of chemical mineral reaction because the shells are made from calcium, right? So that's probably whatever it is is just binding to that. Or it's just really black water. <laughs> oh, she just stuck that on my neck. It is hot. All right, let's do it. It's really hard now. Let's run to do this one hand. All right, we got it. We got a crack. Hang on. Can you hold the camera for a sec? All right. I'm just gonna. Oh, it is white on the inside. Of course. I was scared. I literally thought I was gonna be eating one of those. You know those ones that they put in the ground and go black? I thought it was one of those eggs. Oh, it's so warm. I don't think I've ever thought about vlogging me eating soft boiled eggs before. Well, that's Japan. Right? Yeah. So seven more years to my lifespan, hey? Here's to 107, hey? Hang on, we need this off. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I wonder if it's gonna taste like a normal egg. Do you think it'll taste different? Because it's been boiled in the hot spring? Maybe a little bit. Probably the gas you're breathing here. Right? <laughs> I mean, like everyone always says that sulfur smells like rotten eggs. And we're literally eating eggs. Boiled in sulfur. So you're supposed to put some salt on it, right? You okay? Don't put too much. All right. Ducky moss. It tastes different. It tastes like pure sulfur. <laughs> seven years. Add it to your life. Is you it worth seven years? I don't know, man. They gave us five of these. You know who needs more life? Oh, who? Your skyline. That is true. Maybe I should feed some eggs to it. Oh, <laughs> well, that's gonna be salty. You know what would make this better? Ketchup, because then I couldn't taste it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty hard to eat. Maybe that's why. You gotta go through the pain for the seven years. Well, he's still 107 years old. It's an experience. Damn it. Why is there an RX-8 here? All right, we're kind of done. There's only so much of uh, sulfur and steam and black eggs that I can deal with before I want to leave. You know, we've been here for like three hours. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> but I was thinking, these black eggs, they say over the PA system, because every time they announce it too, I forget to pull my camera out. But they say that uh, it extends your life by seven years. You guys know the RB's a little bit sick on the skyline, so I figured, you know, why don't we just feed the skyline one of these and just like kind of smush it. No? no? Oh, hang on, I know what you mean. It's a suppository, right? We got to put it up the back. In here, right? <laughs> actually make it. Alright, I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep this and give it to it when I go to that drift event on Sunday, the final drift event for this girl. But uh, yeah. Anyways, all jokes aside, we're probably going to give these talk a chance. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to actually end the vlog here. Being that it was kind of a continuation of yesterday, I think it's best we uh, split today's activities up just so I can still stay ahead on things with vlogs and whatnot. But I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. Tell me in the comment section what was your favorite part. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video where we will keep doing the tourism thing here at Hokone. Um, I'm pretty pumped. We're actually at a pretty cool location, which you'll see in tomorrow's vlog. So thanks for that, guys. See you next time. Peace out. Jamata. Thank <laughs> you.